Okay, this will be, I've um, no idea, part two, part three, can't remember, because I've done quite a lot of videoing, so I'm not sure how long I like to make the videos, no longer than an hour, really. Um, um, what I've done, I've got my old autumn journal down from the shelf, um, because I wanted it by me, to give me sort of inspiration. This one, you know, was done a bit differently to the one I'm doing here. Um, I'll put a video, the link to this Awesome. Ooh, 2018, I've done this. Yeah, so, gosh, that's four years ago. Yeah, and I absolutely love doing it. And it's just chock-a-block with bits and pieces. So, um, yeah, so the proper flip through. And I just remembered that I'd done a, tr I'm sure I'd done a tree stamp. I did, which is here. Yeah, and I actually drew that one. <laughs> I, don't know. I wasn't sure it looked like a tree or not, but... It does now, looking back, I will say. There was another one. Here we are, that one. That was like, I wanted to give a loot. That was watercolour, but an illusion of trees. And, yeah, I remember. And I just had a quick flick through because I thought this gives me a bit of inspiration on different things. And this was all bits and pieces rubbish, you know. Again, but I just painted a load of pages and yeah there we go we've got some trees in there and use bits and pieces that people would give me and oh it was, it, this was it was nice you know so it's only a quick flip for us a bit of wallpaper there but it all went well or this from karen o'reilly i think that was yeah she's done that so that looked beautiful i think it's the whole is it the whole thing no I, i've got the other thing in something else and then this was sort of like a bit on the end so i sort of like cut it down and put it in here because i knew i was i was like keeping this one and it went so beautiful that's a bit of washi tape these are the paint cards and then i think i just cut them out made a little peekaboo spot with some fabric leaves off or something yeah, this is quite grungy, <laughs> but yeah, I love all the brush strokes and everything on that, so I really enjoyed that, it's going to be squished up in, up in there, because I've got loads of journals at the top, but that will stay by me, because I find, even though I'm doing slightly different colours, all the, I, I will get inspiration from that, it sort of puts me in the mood, and there's another thing I've got by me that I'm really liking at the moment, is one of my... Um, like background things that I do and I stamp and then I over stamp it and then I add a bit of colour after I will die cut some flowers out of there definitely okay because I'm right out of those you know the big ones with Tim Holt so I'm keeping that for that because it's quite thick as well so what I need I might put this down okay I've already started that you might have seen it already I can't remember but I'm going to paint and try and do that bird today now i've this technique i've actually done with faces but i've never ever done it with a bird <laughs> so it's where you you could print out a face or something and or am i am from a magazine so it could be a bird in a magazine and you gesso it and then you bring the bird back and then you overpaint the bird well i done it with a face but i just thought that could be quite interesting so I'm going to do it in front of you, <laughs> so bear with me, folks, yeah. Might go horribly wrong, because I haven't, it's been about four years since I've done anything like that. Actually, I don't want that gesso on there, but I quite like that already, a bit of paper. So I'm going to, I don't mind over stamping it, but I want that colour on there. I don't want to cover that nice bright colour up, so... And then I will overdo it a little bit more around here, but leave the bird so I can see it. If you've got really thick gesso, um, yeah, just be careful that you don't take away that so you can't see it. That's pretty good look. So 
think we're about right actually we might need a little bit more just around there okay and i'm gonna just get it well, right you have to be careful when you do that just just to knock that back a little bit mine's not wet so i'm just gonna take some of that off lighter here so it's not shining through you have to be careful if it's um magazines are okay but if it's a printout on your inkjet mine's laser printed so it's okay because you can rub it you'll rub it off all right actually i don't need that okay this needs to be dried off of course and we shall outline the bird <laughs> paint the bird let's paint the bird <laughs> right okay it's all dry um i just sharpened my pencil so i got one of these stablos now they're very concentrated um i usually use a bit of charcoal but to be honest i haven't got anything in my studio like that because i do things like that in my house at, at night so all my sort of arty things are like you know, like my charcoals, my pencils, all that. So I'm just going very lightly over this because it is very concentrated. Okay. What we're gonna, and I haven't, I've, I've got, um, of course, I've got acrylics here. I'll tell you what's quite good for that, for this sort of thing as well, as long as you've got gesso on it, is, um, oh, what do you call them? Not the watercolours, the other ones, not acrylics. Um, they like watercolours, but they're like opaque. Uh, I can't see the I can't see the um, claws, so I'd have to bring a picture up of that. But <laughs> I've lost them. <laughs> I can see one here. I think that goes around like that. I can't see that bit though. I thought that was a claw then, look. <laughs> I thought he had three legs. <laughs> like, why can't I see that claw? <laughs> That's because it didn't want... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <sighs> okay. Yeah, really, yeah, you can see where I mean, can't you? <laughs> That's... Uh, I don't know what that is. I might have blocked that out, so it's... Let's come around a bit there. So, I don't think I've ever drawn a bird in my life. Okay. I'm just going around there okay right let's paint okay yep yeah. okay so the colors i've got at the moment is uh, turquoise blue turquoise i've got here um iridescent like greeny yellow which is that one there i've got yellow which is naples yellow I got a bit of black, white, and but my one of my favourite colours, potassio, which is that sort of creamy one there. Okay, so that's the ones I've got. Okay, I like um, the shoulder brushes. Okay, um, I've got water over there. Right. So what am I going to do? Okay, I need a bit of water really. Okay, what I'm going to do? Got just a bit in there. Right, I usually do this sort of thing on the arm of my chair. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. Hope I'm in frame. 
colours and how you will actually see me because my arm might get in the way and I'm going to speed this up, okay? Um, that's quite a dark green there, isn't it? What I'm going to do, okay. It's just a tiny bit of black in there. Just to dull that down a bit for now. paint over it. Got to remember that <laughs> they go that way. You know where the where that odd bits of paint are gonna go, don't you? On this piece of paper after I finished. <laughs>
Does that look like feathers? No. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, but I'm liking what's happening now. I've gone over it, okay? And I'm going to do sort of just some, add some black highlights and I'll go back over with the yellow. Could definitely do with a smaller brush, but it's what I'm using now and I may do. So we've got some. Okay, now, do you know what? I'm actually quite happy with that because the rest I can actually put in um, with pens. Yeah, so what I'm doing here is I notice there's a bit more blue on the other one. I'm going to add this bit of blue here. And there was a bit in the tail too, which I thought was quite nice. That's fine. Okay, I'll show you what I'm going to do next, but I want to use this paint up, right, so I'm going to brush it on here. And, all right, I think my battery's going to die soon. Okay, so if it does, sorry folks, and what I will do is I will go over with a highlight around the eye, put the black dot in the middle of the eye, okay, and I will then um, get rid of this even more, the background, into the background, yeah, and then sort of put some highlights on the bird, because at the moment it's looking a bit dull, because the yellow's a bit not bright enough, but it's okay, it's a bird, we're not following everything. Okay, right, let's do what we've got to do on here. Okay, what brush have we got? Uh, just, do you know what? I'm just going to use whatever. You know, this will become my next masterpiece, don't you? <laughs> I do go silly when I paint like this, you know. It's like going back to being a kid, isn't it? Okay. Okay, that's that one done. Well, I'm actually really liking this. Oh, got a bit on here, look. Time you um, put a bit of stamping on or done something. Okay, I'll leave that to dry as well. 
and the other bird and i'll definitely need to brighten up that yellow i'll see if i can get a, a better yellow actually to go on the top okay we can't get no brighter than this <laughs> so, yes look at that <laughs> is that bright or not <laughs> Okay, I think we're all right until we do some highlights. Yeah. What a lovely colour, isn't it? Should we add a bit of that to our painting? <laughs> this is the sort of painting I like. <laughs> really bright yellow and it's great okay right i'll see you in a bit it's definitely gonna die right i think she's finished um yeah i'm really pleased with that I blocked out more of the background left the bird okay so now i'm going to do um like put some decoupage decoupage napkin on these blue birds i had left over from the napkin i've done my last journal so I've got them, so I think I'm going to just sort of dot them around. Might put that one sort of coming down here. And then I'll add a little bit of colour. I'm not sure what yet. Okay, but I'm happy with that. And it's like, you painted it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The colours I could have done with them being a bit brighter. But, um, yeah, this was metallic green but i'm okay with that and when i was doing the the feathers it become it started to become a little like hair so i had to I had to stop because i was like oh that's years of painting faces isn't that so yeah if my battery dies folks all i'm doing is like i said i'm doing the decoupage getting that dry because i've only got about 20 minutes now and i've got to go so that'll be then dry for the next time so we can work on it a little bit more but this is ending up pretty good actually i'm really pleased so i'll just use the tim holtz this is with a bit of gesso i had a bit of gesso and a bit of the yellow paint on my brush and i just sort of so that's dotted around as well the yellow paint so there might be some blue or all sorts yeah i'm not sure so. I thought I'd get down, get the flower, some blue flower down there. All right, so that's all nice and dry. I've got my machine going in the background, I'm afraid, my cutting machine. But, um, and dried all that off. I slightly sanded it down, made a bit of a hole there, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm just going to add a bit of interest. Okay, so what I'm going to do do something where again it's gonna have to i'm gonna have to wait for it to dry but that's okay you won't you won't see me waiting for it to dry <laughs> if you know what i mean i won't run the camera <laughs> so i'm gonna um just stick some bits of paper i've done this it's a very old technique and then you you leave it dry and then you 
tear it off and it just leaves bits of paper and bits of text behind. So I quite like this technique actually. I'm just checking the words. <laughs> I just um, glue up the middle bit, yeah. So we've got a bit to pull off. too okay, because there won't be much left to say once I've pulled it up I'll just pull up that down so if you leave there you can rip leave the edges not stuck down you can rip it off um oh I think I'm gonna have a little tiny bit in there too that to dry okay so I'll see you in a minute okay let's see if it's dry I've just been doing a bit of cutting here <laughs> okay get out of the way there we go um let's have a look let's do one okay lovely and keep these bits because sometimes you can reapply them and they've got a nice, you know, they're all, all ripped, so they're actually quite nice. Do I do quite a quick action? Yeah. Do this for my faces. <laughs> it's my first bird. I will be making more, doing more, but I think I'll use watercolors next time. I do like watercolors. I used to love acrylics. I used to paint in acrylics, you know, like faces and that. And then I got taken in by watercolors, and I really like them now. So, and now I find it odd working with acrylics, but that's just me. I'm just seeing if there's a bit. But there we go. Okay, that's given a bit of something. I might just in case I need those, I'll check them away after if I don't, yeah? What I'm going to do now is just put a tiny bit of gesso on. Okay, it's only a little bit, just to make sure see what I do. So on the edge that so blends it into the page rather than it laying on the top if you know what I mean you may don't want to cover it totally so <laughs> a tiny bit shiny down here so Yes, it works wonders for that. Yep, 
Yep, that's cool. Dry that off, it can take long. Okay, right, and what I'm using today is uh, my Neo crayons. I've had these a long time. These these live in my house because I these is what I use for my um, watercolor things and my faces and that sort of thing because there's two colors in here I use for faces that I can only <laughs> use them to get the right tone color for the face, which that's one of them, I think. I'm not using that today. I love these colours. Uh, Neo, Neo, but they're the watercolour ones. Neo 2, I think. No, it's just Neo Colour 2. There we go. Neo Colour 2. I've got the other ones as well as like a wax crayon, but these are the watercolour ones. Right, let's have a look. What's colour? Oh, we're definitely going to have a little bit of blue somewhere, aren't we? And you'll see my blue in a minute. <laughs> There's only a little bit of it. <laughs> I do like that one as well. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see, can't you? What colours you like by the size of what's left. <laughs> so I, I, I don't want it to be too overpowering. These are quite strong. So I am going to use a little bit of blue. That's that. And you can, you can do this with a wet wipe or you can do it with a brush and water, that sort of thing. I think, let's have a look, see what we got here. Oh, I might have one here actually. Let's have a bigger one. Here we go. And if you don't write something, because we've gessoed, and also you've got the um, stuff on, you know, where the napkin is, you can wipe it away. It won't wipe away over the paper there, but that's, that's, that's fine. Let's pick up a bit of that water and bleed that out. I will dilute this a little bit in a minute. I don't quite want so much blue is that? So you can see how it goes a long way, doesn't it? You can do this with watercolours as well, you know, it's just crazy and easy, aren't they? And I knew because, I, you know, I was doing this, I bought them in here because I do like using them and I know them. So I know their capabilities because I've used them for a long time. I'm not saying I always get it right, mind. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, that's added a bit of colour, isn't it? Because of transparent, you see, you can still see all that, but you can paint over it and it's okay. Okay, so I don't know whether my... I have to wet it down a bit, it's not very... It's, they've dried. Okay, right, I'm just going to dry that off and I'm going to use a tiny bit of gesso on the top. I think I'm, yeah, liking the background colour there. Yeah, that's great. I'll just leave that dry. What I'm going to do with that bit of gesso is gesso over here, the brayer. Right, I've got a stamp somewhere. There we go. Might not be enough on there. Ooh. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, just do a bit more then. So quite like that. to hold it away from me sometimes to see what it's like. And there. Yep, that's cool. All right. Oh, let's see what I've got. Anywhere else, see where. I've got another bit there I can put a bit of gesso on. doesn't stay like this over cover it oh nice bit of paper there or i um you know do something else with it but i didn't want it i don't want it all like the same color so Ooh, one there as well isn't there for sure <laughs> see that one Right, I think that's dry. So I'm going to do a bit of stamping. This little text stamp comes in with one of the Tim Holtz ones that's um, got mushrooms in. I'm using brown, I think. Yeah, 
ground espresso archival yeah um i'm gonna go down here okay where that hole is yeah perfect <laughs> a little bit sort of i'm doing it where the text is as well so it's like a continuation of that okay which oops get it the right way andrea a little bit more there and i'm gonna go right across on that one there that's that and then it, well, i'm gonna have words there but it's gonna be in black yep so i don't want to press too hard in this area just in case it's conflict i think we're about Right. Oh, maybe a little bit there. Okay. And here. Just a little bit. Yep. That's that one. Right. This is a brand new stamp, so I like to always stamp it on something first. I can find a bit of scrap paper. I might use my new ones of these. Yeah, I'll just see how it stamps. Oh, this is um, Jane Davenport. Beautiful, yeah. Life is more beautiful when we share the journey. I thought that was good. Quote. <laughs> because I am sharing my journey with you. And the bigger the stamp, the more pressure the stamp needs, yeah. I think actually that's going to be okay. And if it doesn't stamp out right, you, don't get me wrong, don't, don't panic. Because one, you can just fill in with a pen. I've done that before, so... I mean, if you can write lovely, then great. I'm, I'm not very good at it, actually. But I used to be. I used to do a lot of calligraphy, but it's a bit scrawny now, actually. I'd rather can just see some gaps on it. I'm going to do a wiping technique first and then do it. Let's see how that works. Okay. We should be all right. I'm going to get my sponge just in case. It does help. I use this on fabric as well because it just gives, it's just a bit of give. Okay. And that's perfect size for there. I'm going to have to stand up so I can see. Right. I'm committed. <laughs> There we go. Look at that. That dry. There we go. Um, I do, oh, right. Okay, I was gonna. <laughs> I'm changing my mind on this. It was going to be um like that, wasn't it? In the journal, like that. Um, no. Hold on a minute. In the journal, like this. Okay, and then that was going to be on the inside. But I really like that. And I think that's going to be on the outside of my flap. And then that's going to be like this. Yeah. So, and I was going to have a pocket here. But I, I think I'm going to stitch all the way around that pocket. Okay. That's all done. All dry. Yep. Um, let's look. Here we go. So that's the way I'm going to have it. Just put a little tab in there. Stitched around that for now. So, like I say, work in progress. <laughs> but I really like that. And again, that was that um, tenor lady <laughs> thing. Oh dear, I shouldn't laugh because it's not funny. But there we go. And that goes in there. That for now. And then I would do something maybe not similar. I think a nice great big pocket on here. Would be nice yeah 
anyway, or something. Yep, some three dimensional on these pages there. But I like that. And then we've got to sort of incorporate what's going on here over here, which we can do, no problem at all. Yep. I love it. Enjoy things like this, I do. Okay, so anyway, that's the end of that video. Okay, um, because that was quite a long one with um doing this, so but I really enjoyed it and it just shows you know you can do it and make it look like your own, make make it look like you've actually painted that. Okay, done, done and dusted. <laughs> okay, well thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.